Let's go to Isaiah 26 and 3. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. So what is that saying there? This is saying the people who are following God's rules and regulations, if those people, men or women, if those people keep their mind on God, what this is saying is that God is going to keep them in perfect peace. So if you are not in peace, chances are you are in sin, or if you are not in sin, Your mind is not on God. Let me say this. You know when you may look at a person who may have a nice car, a nice home, nice vehicles and stuff like that, a nice job, and you may even envy that person saying, man, I wish I could have nice things like that person. Like that person is really living the life. Give me a second, please. You may say, man, that person is really living the life. Only if I could get my hand on the type of money they have, I would be okay. You see, people have the habit on looking on the outside and not in the inside. I know many of the time we are not able to see what is happening to many people from the inside. But what if you were able to? You don't know what is going on with those people. You don't know the psychological issues they may have. You don't know how much in debt they are in. You don't even know if they have any peace. What is the point of having so much money, millions of dollars, but you have no peace? What is the point in being rich if you have no peace? Have you thought about that? You don't know what people are doing to get their money. Of course, you may have an idea of what they may be doing, but you don't have any idea of what many people are doing to make their money. You don't know the evil things that they are doing to make their money. You don't know if they are in witchcraft, in the occult, serving Satan and stuff like that, you don't have no idea. But you are only seeing things from the outside, wishing that you were like other people, not knowing what they actually go through in their personal life. But you are only looking on the outside. What if you were to see it from the inside, like the stress that they go through, the anxiety, so on and so on, the curses that are upon them. Let me say this. I am kind of getting off of my subject, but when you disobey God, yes, you may have money and things and stuff like that, but when you disobey God, curses are coming to you. So you can have a nice car. You can have a nice house and stuff like that. But I guarantee you, no matter what you have, you are not going to have any peace. And you are going to have some illnesses as well. Along with other bad things. So stop looking at people wishing that you were them because you have no idea what they are going through. 
Money does not solve every issue in life. If you are a wicked person, a person who disobeys God, money is going to make you worse. Money is not going to solve your problems. It is going to make it worse. But some people are so carnal and not seeing the overall picture on why we are on this earth and everything like that. All you see is gain and money and you want people to look upon you as a great person or something like that. You want attention. When we are not on this earth for that, per se. Does this make any sense? So just because you are rich does not mean that you have peace. And I believe if you were to talk to some rich people who don't serve God, they are going to tell you that they are having a hard time in life. Even when they have money, even if they have a nice house, even if they have a nice car. It is not a bad thing to want those things, but you can't judge a person's life like, hey, this person has good things, so this person is having a good life. You can't say that. Like I said, what is the point of having so many good things, but you don't have the peace? And you may say, well, hey, if I was rich, I would not care about peace. You have no idea what you are saying. So you are saying you would take one million dollars and be in fear. Okay, let's say that a person comes to you and say, hey, I will give you one million dollars, but the catch is I will install extreme fear within you would you still take it if you are smart you are going to say no because you have no idea what extreme fear is you have no idea so if you think about it peace there are people many people now who don't have peace You can't put a price on peace. You can't. So, I know I was all over the place, but I pray that this makes sense. God bless.